When is the tipping point for cybersecurity in ICS? If you were to ask me, the answer would be 2017. Prior to 2017, most ICS targeted attacks were cyber espionage until the WannaCry ransomware emerged. The WannaCry ransomware, based on the Eternal Blue vulnerability, triggered a widespread cyber incident, which signaled the beginning of cyber criminal attacks on ICS becoming more common. Now we know ICS is not immune to software vulnerabilities. Hello, my name is Yohei Shihara, and I'm a security evangelist at Trend Micro. Let's take a closer look at possible exploitation of vulnerabilities in cyber attacks on ICS. The number of ICS affecting CVEs is growing exponentially. This increase in numbers reflects the sense of urgency among researchers, vendors, and others regarding ICS security. We need to make more strategic decisions to mitigate the cyber risks posed by ICS affecting vulnerabilities, which are expected to continue to increase in 2022 and beyond. To provide the intelligence to make these decisions, TX1 researchers have analyzed 613 CVEs in the context of the MITRE attack for ICS. This chart shows how ICS affecting CVEs in 2021 could be exploited in the MITRE attack for ICS framework. This analysis allows us to quantify the likely techniques an attacker could take. Let's look at initial access as an example, the point at which an attacker can use as a door to ICS. The vulnerabilities that can be exploited for initial penetration account for 66.4% of the total, and the two most exploitable techniques are Internet Accessible Device and Transient Cyber Asset. An Internet Accessible Device is a device such as a PLC or HMI that is exposed to the Internet in an insecure manner or have been misconfigured to allow unintended access. In our factory honeypot experiments, we observed attackers entering the ICS using communication protocols of the Internet Accessible PLCs. Transient cyber asset refers to PCs or USB devices that are temporarily brought into the ICS for maintenance purposes. A major ransomware attack on a semiconductor manufacturing company in 2018 was caused by a software installation tool brought in from the outside. This means intelligence-based prioritization is a great help in proper risk management. To learn more, download our technical report on vulnerability intelligence with a link on the description box. You can use the advisory from Trend Micro's Zero Day Initiative, the world's largest vulnerability discovery community, as your daily vulnerability intelligence. At Trend Micro, we do cybersecurity, so you can do you.